McInnes, over on the right side to Suter, to McInnes, he shoots, broke the glass, he broke the glass behind the net, look at that, the shot by McInnes went over the net, Rudy ducked, which was his best move of the night, and the glass got shattered, Al McInnes, how would you like to be the goaltender? When you're lacking confidence as a unit, you, you lack energy, again, just Little sloppy passes, not retrieval, and slow moving. Well, let's watch this hard shot by Dion Phaneuf. Does it break the glass or knock it in? Oh, yeah, right there. You can see it. Just a little bit of a bullet hole type. And it's a big crack, so it makes sense to just end this period. Stars get their Niskanen and bank it ahead. Here's Richardson, long range, up high. Broke the glass. And, yep. Shot that one straight <laughs> through the glass. <laughs> and this will take a minute. Yes, it will. Warner took the shot. Oh. Oh. Warner comes that one and shatters the glass in behind the net. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Boy. That'll teach the goal judge for turning the red light on when he shouldn't have. Huh? He's dusting himself uh, off back there. I'm feeling his heartbeat. Wow, that thing exploded. The shot by Rhett Warner. Coming across the ice diagonally to support him. And a hot pass by Burns, and that ends up on the Islander bench. And everybody jumping out of the way. Because we know how Brent Burns can shoot it, never mind pass it. If Thornton, he's getting out of the way. Oh, Thornton tipped it. Well, good thing that Thornton tipped it, or it would have gone right onto the bench. And Sheriff Yanov has come on. Oh, the glass is broken. As it is fired across by Scott Stevens. Oh. Glad I wasn't sitting there, Joe. <laughs> that wasn't that hard of a shot. It was a wrist shot. It must have just hit the glass perfectly. Gets hooked from behind, but breaks out to center. Matt Foy has him tied up. Phaneuf's long shot sails oh, wide. Look at He breaks the paint of glass, and that'll be it for a while. Oh, just in the corner of the pane of glass. Misses the Bucks fans on it. And now it's out of the trapezoid, so he couldn't go back and play it. And Phaneuf clears it in. That's and the end of the period. And can you believe it? For the second time in a period, he's broke another pane of glass. Oh, man. Okay. You're not allowed to shoot it anymore. Pane of glass, and you can see the hole in the bottom there. That's for still photography. Tyler Grayovac actually fired a puck right through that hole. Well, that's a hole in one, uh, and the good thing there wasn't a photog, or maybe there was. Uh, hopefully you saw it coming. He unleashes that puck and hits the pane of glass right there, the guy with the Quebec Nordiques jersey on. <laughs> Great jersey, by the way. Oh, yeah. And as far as center ice, the Flyers give it up right there. The Canadian shoot it away, and it went right through the open gate at the penalty box as Couturier was coming up. You could fire a hundred pucks and never be able to do that. And as the timing of it, and again, just poor timing with him, and he plays it into the zone, batted back to him now for Jelena, and he rips it off the high glass. Well, the one thing we know about Jelena is that he can absolutely hammer the puck. They work on the glass behind John Gibson. We got a moment so front instead. Back to the line, Pareko. Off the wall, Schwartz. Latera fans. Here's Pareko, the bomb, and that was up high off the glass. Holy jump. Miller hasn't seen his shot. Now he Miller. has. I think Pareko broke the glass with that shot. Oh. Or did he? Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah.
Right one. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was all good until that one.